Welcome to Electron Alignment. To get a feel for the size of the planets, let's go ahead and compare the planet diameter side by side. And no better way than to actually draw the relative size on the board. So starting with the terrestrial planets, you can see that those are definitely the four smallest of the eight planets in the solar system by far. And notice that the Earth and Venus are almost the same size. The diameter of Venus is about 95% the diameter of Earth, so they're roughly the same size. Notice the diameter of Mars is about half, about 0.53 the diameter of the Earth, and Mercury is a little bit over a third the size of the Earth. Now, volume-wise, you can imagine, if Mercury is about a third in, in diameter, and the volume is, of course, diameter cubed, or relative to diameter cubed, then uh, that would be that uh, the volume of Mercury is about 1 25th the volume of the Earth, maybe a little bit bigger. Mars, you can see the volume is about 1 8th, and Venus, the volume is about 80%. So those are all about roughly the same size and same category. Mercury and Mars, of course, a little bit smaller. But now let's compare the Earth to the four giant gas planets. And giant is actually a good word for that. Because look at the size of Jupiter. I couldn't even draw all of Jupiter on the board, but if you look at the far out, outside lines right there, you can see that Jupiter's diameter is 11.2 times the diameter of the Earth. You can actually fit more than 11 Earths in a row inside the diameter of Jupiter. So you can imagine Jupiter is a pretty large planet. Volume-wise, Jupiter is more than 1,000 times the volume of the Earth. Saturn is a close second. Saturn has a diameter about 9.5 times the diameter of the Earth. Now that of course depends upon which way you look at Saturn because Saturn is actually wider than it is tall by quite a bit and we'll talk about that a little bit more and, and why. But nevertheless Saturn is also a very very big planet nine and a half times the diameter of the Earth. Now Uranus and Neptune are very close in size to each other. They're relatively to Saturn and Jupiter quite a bit smaller but relative to the Earth, still enormous. Notice that Uranus has a radius about four times, or a diameter about four times the diameter of the Earth. Neptune, just a close second to that, 3.9 times the diameter of the Earth. So if the diameter is about four times the diameter of the Earth, four cubed is 64, that means the volume of these two planets is about 64 times the volume of the Earth. So they are very, very large planets as well. And all four of these planets, of course, are predominantly made out of gases, different kinds of gases, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Now, hopefully that gives you an appreciation for the relative size. And drawn like this, it's absolutely amazing when you think about the size of Saturn and Jupiter compared to the Earth. And then, if you compare that to the size of the Sun, you can line up about 110 Earths for the diameter of the Sun. But in other words, the Sun is about 10 times the diameter of Jupiter and more than 100 times the diameter of the Earth. So relative to the Sun, even the giant gas planets are relatively small. But compared to each other, the gas planets is where it's at when it comes to size. And this is hopefully giving you a pretty good appreciation for the size of the planets.